Hello, it's Robert Neal. I'm going to be talking to you today about our plans for growth. Over the period of weeks we've been doing a lot of videos about growing the church and now we come to the part where we turn to the plan. How are we going to make what we've been talking about actually come into action? So our focus as a church is going to be on growth in, in numbers, spirituality and in helping the community we live in. We're going to concentrate on the four P's that we mentioned in one of the earlier videos. That's prayer, presence, proclamation and persuasion. So we've been doing a lot of praying. We are trying to be present within the community more and more. We are declaring growth and the love of Jesus Christ in our sermons and in our church services and persuasion. That's where everybody comes in, talking to people, letting them know about the love of Jesus, of Jesus that's made a difference in their lives and how it can make a difference for them. And it's that personal testimony that would really help. So that's going to be part of the plan, but it's going to be a lot wider than that. And we're not looking to plan over years and years and years. We want to achieve what we want to go for within 12 to 24 months. Anything longer and people drift away and can't remember what the aims were. And so we've got to pray regularly and we've got to decide very much what our first priorities are going to be as a church. What do we want to achieve most and how can we do that? And then we've got to review it regularly as time goes on to make sure we're not losing sight of where we're going or going in the wrong direction. We've also got to decide as a benefit whether we're going to have one grand plan for all four churches or whether we're going to plan church by church. we we'll also be concentrating on a sub-plan, as it were, for children and young people's work. And there's three sections in that. There's preschool, there's primary school and there's secondary school. Now we already do some things in each of those areas but it's time to have a good hard look at what we're doing and make sure that we're doing the right thing. So how can you help with this? Well, we want to know your views. Now, it doesn't matter if you've just joined the church or you've been with the church for decades um, or you don't think that your views are very important. Everybody's views are important and we want to know from you what you want the church to be doing and how we can grow and make things so much better. So please get in touch with us. All our contact details uh, are on the website and you can find them there. Um, easy way is to email revenclark at aol.com and we can uh, start to take your views on board. We will be having some meetings to discuss it where people will be able to contribute but this is an early go at trying to establish what sort of plan we're going to do and how we're going to make the future so much better and hopefully so much bigger for St Giles. So let's see how we go. Let's get this plan started and let's get the work of Mission uh, for Jesus going in this area. So what I want you to do is reflect on your own position, pray as to how we go forward and then you, me and everybody have got to do. So reflect, pray and do. And I'm going to put up the uh, special prayer for growth, which we'll all say together. But I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. We say together. God of mission, who alone brings growth to your church. Send your Holy Spirit to give vision to our planning, joy to our worship, wisdom to our actions and power to our witness. Help our church to grow in numbers, in spiritual commitment to you and in service to our local community through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.